constituents. I'm not going to support any candidate for office at any level who is not pro-life. Right. I've got a great friend, David Barton. I hope you know his material is terrific. David did a very exhaustive, intensive study of all of the members of Congress, all 535 members of the House and Senate. And here's what he discovered. When people say, these issues don't matter, we need to focus on the economy. Well, here is a newsflash. Every pro-life member of Congress, every one of them, votes in a fiscally conservative manner. Yes. Every non-pro-life member of Congress in the Senate votes in a fiscally reckless, irresponsible manner. Wow. It is the best barometer for a person's fiscal sanity to find out whether they believe in the sanctity of human life and practice that as a point of principle. Because if you don't believe that an individual matters, you won't care how much money you take out of their pocket and waste it in government excess and spend it. And so there is a direct correlation. But even if there wasn't, I still would not support someone who did not believe in the intrinsic worth and value of every single human being, without an exception.